What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lorna Marie here and today for you I am bringing you my adventure bag, my stroller organization, the stroller that we use when we go on adventures, how I put everything together, all of that good stuff. We are currently in the Florida Keys right now. We're a full-time RV family of six. We are just loving it out here. We'll actually be here for the next three weeks so you will see more of that. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me over there so you guys can check out all of our adventures. It has been a rough couple of weeks for us. My dog just died. Um, we've had him for over 13 years, almost our whole entire marriage. So it has been rough for us, but I still wanted to get you guys this video. Know that the sound is kind of off. We're next to a freeway, but I still wanted to get something up for you guys. So thank you for being patient with me. And don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and give your girl a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's hop into this video. All right, say, everybody say hi. All right, so we are currently fishing right now. So I just switched over to a voiceover because it was very windy and I don't want it to get annoying after a while. But we are fishing on this day. We brought all of our fishing poles. So the setup is a little bit different. So this is our adventure stroller, you guys. I absolutely love it. It actually has an awning that goes over top, which I lost and I'm really sad about. I'm probably gonna order another one, but it is so heavy duty. We use it for packages, laundry. My friend that doesn't even have kids actually said she wanted one. So this is such a good stroller. There's so many different compartments. It comes with a little cooler on the side, a little basket. It just holds everything. There's two places where you can strap your kids in. It's just an amazing stroller, you guys. You will absolutely love it. I have no regrets. So whenever we're on adventures, this is the stroller that comes with us. I personally wouldn't bring it on the beach. I have before. I just feel like it will mess up the mechanisms in the wheels. So definitely keep that in mind. So I also have this cute little container I put together for my daughter. This is a 31 bag. I'm going to show you guys the whole thing, all the adventure stuff that's inside of this bag. I just put together this cute little container that I got from Dollar Tree. One side has lollipops, the other side has a bunch of like fidget spinners. My son likes to fish, but he gets bored pretty easy, so I like to have little toys. And then the toys inside of this, I got this from the Dollar Tree. There's a little cat and a little cat house. She can just sit in here and I feel safe. The little carry container is from Daiso. But I just feel better with her sitting in the stroller and not like running off. I'll walk around with her and stuff, but out you can play with. Can play with that one? This one. Which one? That one? Yeah. Okay, put that back. All right, you guys. So I'm going to show you guys a tour of the outside and all the bags that I'm carrying. This may be a lot for some people, but these are just ideas on what you can bring. Customize it for yourself. Bring more, bring less. This is actually my new day bag. I usually have a Gucci one that I carry around that I absolutely love, but I'm like fishing and certain things that are really crazy. I switch it out to this one. I can always do an updated video if you guys are interested in it. And then I also bring my diaper bag. I have videos on both of these that I will link up in the cards for you guys and down below. But I love the color. I love the way that it looks with the stroller. It just looks so sharp to me. I love it. But I always bring my diaper bag, whether it's on my stroller or in the car. And then I carry my day bag. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys my adventure bag. Here it is. Normally this bag sits on the top of this little basket area over here, but today we're fishing. So we utilize this compartment here to stuff all of the fishing poles. So yeah, here's the basket. And at the bottom it has this like zipper pouch compartment. You can put shoes. Right now it's housing her little toilet. Uh, I also have a cooler. Well, I had a cooler that went in here. I threw it away because I didn't think I was gonna use it. So now I have a 31 cooler I'll show you a picture of it right here that I actually have my initial on which is so cute you guys can totally put initials on it that's what I love about it you can customize it but I have the big cooler with us today because that's what we're going to put our fish in and all of our water so I didn't really need the small little cooler but here's the little toilet I use it for emergencies if you are potty training guys I highly suggest using this toilet let me pull it out and show you guys how it works she actually had to use the bathroom and it was just perfect how the setup was, how it worked. And so I basically take an extra grocery bag. I pop it up. I put the grocery bag over top. And then she goes to the bathroom in the grocery bag. You sit her on top. And then I take the blanket and I wrap it around her so she has complete privacy. I could even take that larger blanket and literally put it over the whole top of the stroller if I want to. It is literally so easy, so convenient. Like you guys are going to thank me later. I just know it because this is such a good idea if you go on adventures and stuff like this. But it is such a lifesaver. <laughs> thank you, Y'all, you're welcome, honey. 
I always have this on me, you guys, whether it's in the car or in my adventure bag or in the diaper bag. This is my adventure stroller. I also have other strollers. I have my Disney stroller, which is actually a new Disney stroller that I have. You guys haven't seen it yet, but I also have videos on the other one that I used to have. And then I also have two pocket strollers, which I love. And I honestly use them all for different. There are just basically different occasions that I like to use each of them for. So on the side here, there are three different pockets. I have hand sanitizer and there's two other pockets here. In this top one, I have wipes and a first aid little kit. In the larger pouch, I just have garbage bags and Ziploc bags. You can put whatever you want in here. I just personally don't like having it super full just because things could tend to fall out. But yeah, I just like keeping little extra things in here. I really feel like redundancy is key, friends. <laughs> the only thing about this little diaper bag being here is that it could slide off the sides. There's nothing really to anchor it down, but it is heavy enough. So it doesn't happen very often. I just wanted to let you guys know that. So keep it in mind. What's that? So we got those from the dollar store. We're just kind of bumming it today in our clothes. Let me see if I, I'll show you like a few things that I have in the top here. Oh, have my EBC. If you guys have not seen this video, I have a whole video on this. This is all of my emergency stuff. You guys are gonna love the organization in this bag. There's literally eight pockets on the inside and one pocket on the outside that's really big and holds another pouch. I got a lot of Oh, you do, honey. Let me know if you guys like this vlog style outdoor video in the comments below. This is definitely a little bit of a different approach. I'd love to hear what you think. So this is the only exterior pocket that it has, but I love that I can carry this giant pouch. I'll link it down below for you guys. I, you guys see these all over the place in my videos. There's so many different sizes, but I keep all the sauces in here. That's what I like to call them, just so they don't spill and I can keep them all contained. I can hand sew in the entire bag. I have a Hawaiian Tropics here but i also have an organic brand that i really love it's kind of pricey though i have repel because if we go hiking i definitely just want the real stuff i'm terrified of ticks getting a tick bite this is um, some organic bug spray and this is some no -seum spray like you guys no -seums are the worst if you've ever been to florida there are bugs that bite you and i have make you itch like a crackhead that you can't see and then i have these wipes they are both from the dollar tree i got this little mickey thing that goes over the top that's from daiso but both of these wipes are from the dollar tree so anyways, I just stick that entire pouch right in this front pocket here. And it also has a little Velcro closure. This is where we're at. This is why I had to do a voiceover because there's a freeway here and it was very windy. That is the number one question though, you guys, is everybody always asks me what, how many bags do I bring all my bags? And like I said before, it just kind of depends on what I'm doing. I could have totally left my diaper bag in the car today, but I brought it with me because I wanted to show you guys how it hangs on here, but it has the extra clothes and some restaurant stuff, which totally could have stayed in there, but I also could have used it if my kids got bored. You know, there's just, you gotta make some calls and you don't always have to bring every single bag, but sometimes I do. But this is my adventure bag. This is what I bring with me. If we're going to the park or a museum or the beach or whatever it is, it literally has all of my adventure stuff with me. If we're walking around for a long period of time, I'm definitely going to have this bag on me as well. So this bag will most likely be on me and my day bag more than anything. And then the diaper bag could come and go or stay in the car. But on the top here, I have this chair, which is awesome. You guys look how small and compact it folds. Now there is a weight limit. It does feel a little sketchy even when I'm sitting in it, but it's it's sturdy enough it's great and i just like that i can carry it with me i have bad hips so i definitely need to have a chair with me to be able to sit down i also have another little blow up one that i got that's in my day bag that i just added to it if you guys want to see that i can show you that maybe on instagram so follow me over there if you're not following me but i did add a few things to my day bag but love that here it is all set up isn't that awesome it's so crazy how it pops open. It's just kind of like, you know, those old school tents that you pull apart and it's got the string inside and it folds all down. That's how it works. So, hey. All right. So if you guys have seen my other videos, I had another one. It was a black one that we carry around so the kids can drink water. I put ice in here and fill it up with water so it stays cold. What video was that on? Oh, I think it was pull bag video. I don't know. You guys have so many great summer videos. Pull bag. Uh, pull recipe video all that good stuff I have yeah vacation recipes all that so anyways we bring this along with us in the stroller as well 
So the reason why at a glance, this bag is so amazing is like I said, all of the organization on the inside. So let me show you, there are three pockets on either long side. I don't know if you can see that. And then there's three on this side. And then there are, there's one pocket, mesh pocket on either side of that. All right, so now that I've shown you guys all the little compartments, I am going to show you guys this blanket. So this is a huge picnic bank blanket and it has two different sizes, which is really cool. It has it like kind of like a felt velvet type of side. And then on the other side is more of like a waterproof type of side. I don't know if it's waterproof, but it seems like it repels the water pretty good. So I love that there's two layers. It's a great blanket. It's huge. You guys, it holds my entire family. I love this thing. I've had it for a really long time and it's lasted. It's such good quality. So in this corner here, I have utensils. I have a black tablecloth in the back from the Dollar Tree, which if we go to a picnic bench or whatever, you can sit on it, you can do whatever. I have paper plates, napkins, and then I have these pink utensils. I'm pretty sure everything is from the Dollar Tree. I don't like the way this looks right now. I'm definitely gonna put it into like one of my clear zipper pouches. I just kind of stuck it in here because I didn't want to dig it out, but. I also have a giant Ziploc bag in the front. I have some straws and just, your basic fork, knife, and spoon situation. Then on this side, I have cups. These are Dollar Tree cups, stick those in there. Also, there are little shot glasses in there. You never know when you may wanna share a shot with one of your friends. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just keep their little toys on top here. I just set that on top. I stick it in there, no big deal. But underneath is my shelter. I just got this shelter and I'm actually gonna probably be transferring that to my day bag. I'm gonna probably replace this pocket and put my towels that I forgot to put in here. They're actually being washed because we use them all the time. They are the most amazing towels ever, you guys. Like they are the best. But shelter is good to have when you're hiking or whatever. You just never know if you get lost or something weird happens. If you don't go on adventures, you may not need it. But I showed you guys this little contraption I made earlier. And then on this side, I have, what is this called? A wet bag. I have a wet bag and then I have these cooling towels. So if you're hiking and it's super hot, you wet them and you stick it around your neck and it cools you off, which is so great when we're in Arizona and Sedona, it worked out amazing. But I definitely need to add my towels. I'll insert a picture for you guys and I'll also put them in the down bar below. I just love how everything just fits right back into its pocket and so nothing nothing is just like rolling around in your bag. So then I have tarp, which may seem weird, but you can put it on the outside of your stroller if it starts raining and it's big enough to where I could literally tie it to it. I could make extra seating for other people. This is a blue poncho on the in the center here, which I could also put over the stroller. I could put it over a child. Just there's so many uses. Then I made this first aid kit. I don't know if you guys remember a little while ago. I did a little mini kit that I could have with me on the go that has everything that I need. I can't tell you how many times I've used this, you guys. It's so handy and so convenient. I also always have a tourniquet on me. This is so important where, where sharks are at. You can fall when you're hiking, all these things. And if somebody's bleeding out, you need to cut the circulation off from the blood. So learn how to use it. I have definitely used it. I've practiced it on every single family member just so I know what it feels like to do enough pressure. The last item are my stroller blankets. I love these things, you guys. You've probably seen them a million times in my videos, but I love that they fold down. They're super compact. I have a gray one and a pink one. They also attach to your stroller, so that way they won't fall on the ground. That's why they're called stroller blankets. And I can also attach them to my bag, the outside of my bag, the outside of the stroller. Just so convenient, you guys. These are awesome. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my adventure bag, stroller organization, all that good stuff. If you haven't done so already, subscribe, hit that little bell. Everything that I said to you or showed you in the video will be down in the down bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and watching it all the way through. When you do that, it really benefits my channel. A way you could give me a big tip is by sharing this video with friends and family. I know you guys could be anywhere on the internet, but you chose to be here with me. If you've made it all the way through the end of the video, leave me a waves emoji and let me know that you did or a beach emoji and let me know that you did. Thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time, I'm always your girl Lorna Marie. Mwah. Bye.
wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. 